I almost exited out of OBS and ended stream. Conservatives talk a lot about the value of working for your money and then become property investors. Yeah, that's pretty funny Love too. But anyway, let's continue yeah, with this. So get ready. Yay. Yay. I've seen my mom um, look at him on Facebook. She said he was a very smart guy. Do you think he is? Well, now that I've met him, maybe. Freedom. Okay, breed up. Definition? Oh America. yeah, give me the definition, go for it. America. Definition of freedom is America. America. Okay, that's that's actually, okay, I kinda like that. I'm with you. America. Okay, so. America. Freedom is the, not the ability to do whatever you want. Freedom no. is the ability to make good choices. Unless you're a Republican, in which case, like, freedom is the ability to do whatever you want. And also, extra freedom if you're a Republican, in which, uh, in which, where you can literally stop others from doing whatever they want. Like, you get extra liberties when you're a Republican to, to be able to, I don't know, manage the government despite being, despite holding on to like 30% of the fucking voter base of the Republican Party. You can get the, you can get the Republican Party to act out on your ridiculous desires, even if 75% of the country believes that abortion, especially in the first trimester, should be a constitutionally protected right. One that would even be considered a super precedent by even the most reactionary Supreme Court justices. But of course, as long as you're fucking evangelical, that means you have extra rights. Okay, kids? Choices and have those pay off. A lot of people kind of think that freedom is you get to do what you want. So if you want to run into a tree, that's freedom. Eat. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't eat people. Like, that. you don't have freedom to eat people. <laughs> Wait, he says freedom is running into a tree? Yeah, freedom is when the Ford Pinto uh, could, could get like an easy... Five dollar per car fix, but uh, you know, you you make that own choice to buy the Ford Pinto, knowing full well that it'll explode. It has the capacity to explode. That's freedom. Indoctrinate these kids, bro. Do it. Bad. I forgot what that's called. It's called cannibalism. My mom and dad told me I was gonna meet Ben Shapiro. And did you know who he was? Nope. Government. Okay, so who has an idea about government? Go for it. I don't. <laughs> Government is what takes all of your money and gives you very little in return. That is not true. Okay, that, that's kind I mean, it's kind of true. It depends that's on the what kind of government. Taxes are for. Yeah, that, that is what taxes are for, but, but taxes are theft, children. The reality is that government is necessary so that people don't hurt each other, so that people don't people. murder each other. Right, so people don't eat people. That's right. Yes. You do need a government to prevent people from eating people. The Constitution. Who knows something about the Constitution? Anybody oh, heard, heard, you heard of the Constitution? Anybody heard of the Constitution? No, I mean, heard of it. Okay, no. so the Constitution. Okay, the Constitution is the, is the document that lays out the list of rules for what the government can do and what the government cannot do. So the Declaration of Independence is 1776. So right as we're founding the country, right as the Founding Fathers are founding the country in the Revolutionary War, we fought a war against Great Britain in 1776. Okay, maybe you do know a lot. What was that? And talk okay, fast. maybe you do know a lot. <laughs> and talk fast. Yeah, I yes. do talk fast. Yeah, dude, six-year-olds fucking find him to be intelligent. He, real, real slam dunk here, dude. But you guys can keep up. You're, you're, you're young. I do run pretty fast. I'm sure you I do. Run very fast. I, I run mean, fast. Let me tell you, I, I don't worry about talking too fast with kids because my kids wipe me out. My kids tire me out. Okay, the president. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, Who knows who Biden. the president is right now? Biden. Yeah. Biden. Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. That's right. Biden. Unfortunately, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm yeah. with you. Unfortunately, yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah, unfortunately, Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah, Biden. Biden. yeah, yeah. So I know. Biden. Yeah, Trump. Yeah. He's the best. He was better. <laughs> Don't insult the president but. because he will come and attack you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Yeah, he's way off base about that. Taxes. Okay. Do you guys oh, like? Wait, what did he say? <laughs> yeah, he's way off base about that. Taxes. So, yeah, he's way off base about that. Yo, this kid's base, dude. Look at these juicers, dude. This is why I talk to XQC about politics, okay? There's one juicer in there who's like, yeah, no, fuck this shit, okay? Ben Shapiro, you are off base, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Or maybe he's talking about the other kid, but I'm going to imagine that he's talking about Ben Shapiro because that's funnier for me, okay? In my head, canon. Okay, do you guys like oh, taxes? taxes? Are fees that you have to pay... For your houses. Well, yeah, it's not, and, there are there is. And air conditioning and solar. Right, you have to pay taxes on like everything. Yeah, like watches, everything. Like Except, electricity. Not on your income in Florida, because Florida's amazing. Right, so. <laughs> 
taxes are the government takes a part of the money that you spend or the money that you earn or the yeah. property and value of your house. Spend it on useless stuff. What about debt? Mostly yes. I mean, they're supposed to spend it on things like the police. They're not supposed to spend it on just random projects or silly things that they have in their head and they tend to spend it on kind of silly things very often. But Yeah, like fucking uh I don't know, defending the nation state project uh that that Israel has or uh, giving them, you know, billions and billions of dollars with Iron Dome. Like that, would would Ben Shapiro consider that to be a silly project? No, he would not. He would say that's actually the most important thing that you could spend money on. Yeah, it's only a silly project when it's like... Uh, it's only a silly project when it's fucking infrastructure, okay? Oh, yeah? You think uh, we should build bridges in Pittsburgh? How about, uh, how about you build a bridge and get over it? You know, you silly goose. As you get older, you will realize how, how little you like taxes. Taxes are, are very, yeah, very terrible. annoying. I already think they're terrible. Alrighty. Let's see I already else. think they're terrible. Oh my god, dude. These kids already read the fucking the, the conserva kids' books, bro. They're, they're already read some books. Yeah. Quantitative easing. What? Wow, who put this one in here? What is that? Alright, are we really gonna Who's do this? Laughing? We can we could do this. Okay, no. so yeah, I know. I'm, I'm with you. Laughing. The reason that they're laughing is because this is super duper complicated. You know what a dollar is, right? Y'all used dollars yeah. before. How about Monopoly money? Have you guys oh, ever played Monopoly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. My mom and dad in it. If you guys went to the store with Monopoly money, could you buy anything? No. No, you couldn't. Why not? Because it's, it's not real money. There is an agency of the federal government. It's called the Federal Reserve. Okay, the Federal Reserve controls how many dollars are out there. If they just print a bunch of dollars and then they just give you those dollars, it turns out they didn't make you rich. All that happened is that your dollar now doesn't buy as many things. If the federal, if the Federal Reserve just makes a thousand dollars and gives it to you and gives it to everybody, you can't buy a, an ice cream bar with a dollar anymore. Now the ice cream bar is going to cost like a thousand dollars. Okay, that's what quantitative easing is. Can you explain to me the what? So why has it? Why has like inflation been uh, way, way, way stagnant in comparison to fucking? How much quantitative easing has happened over the course of the past, like, fucking 10 to 20 years? What the fuck? Ice cream should be $1,000. Why is it not $1,000? You haven't tried to buy ice cream recently, have you? Yeah, no, I'm so out of touch, dude. That's why I think ice cream is only, like, fucking $5, you know? How stupid of me when I... When I when I haven't realized that it, it's actually a thousand dollars now. The concept of quantitative easing. Go. I forgot. <laughs> so guys, you just learn more than you will in all of college about how the government works. So one of the questions that I frequently get asked is, how do I talk to my own children about conservative values and the things that matter? And my answer is, conserva kids. Conserva kids brings you books like Home of the Brave, for example, in which they discuss things like American values and American history. They're beautifully illustrated. They're this is literally a hashtag ad. Sometimes being brave means signing your name. Here are the men of the American Revolution. We call them our founding fathers. They owned slaves. And they actually thought that that was poggers. Uh, the king was a big bully named George III. Our founders had to be brave to win their independence from the king and Great Britain because they were really courageous. Well and they have value. Today, okay, like we already saw this one. In American history. Today, we live in the nation they founded, the United States of America. They're beautifully illustrated, they're really well written, and they have values that you can feel comfortable sharing with your children, which is the most important thing. There's so many forces out there that are seeking to twist what kids think. There's so many people out there who want your- Wait, he, but he's literally doing that. Like, he's doing that right now. He's like, there's so many people that are twisting how kids think. There's so many people who are, who, who are twisting how fucking kids think, okay? Uh, which is why we need to twist them into how, uh, you know, we think. That's is better. Your kids to believe things that they really shouldn't believe, who want to take control of your child's education away I gotta from pee, you. I gotta pee, I'll be back. Not so with Conserva Kids. Conserva Kids is the way that you can teach your kids about the stuff that matters. They bring you all sorts of- Bro, this motherfucker does ad reads on a daily basis and he still sucks at it. How is he so bad at ad reads, dude? Beautiful books. They have a great variety, a great selection. Check them out today at theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. That's theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. You get 15% off when you use code 
15 Ben. Again, they just make great materials. They're safe for all your kids, not just safe, they're, they're virtuous for you to get for your kids. Theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. That's theconservakids.com slash Shapiro. 15% off with code 15 Ben. Okay, go for it. Um, what do you think about like superstars and athletes talking about politics? So everybody in the country gets to talk about whatever they want to talk about, but athletes and superstars generally don't know anything about what they're talking about when it comes to politics. When LeBron James says things, that doesn't mean he knows things. Yeah. Will you ever be a president? You know, all the presidents are now 100 years old, right? Like Joe Biden is really, really old. Joe Biden is 79 years old. I'm 38, which to you guys seems oh. like super old, right? Like, no. like, no? no? Okay, good. That, that's my true. My dad is 42. My dad is 52. My dad is 48. I'm I'll wait until my kids are grown up. I don't want to, I would never run for office while I have little kids. I want to be home with my kids. My kids are super cute. I want to spend like a lot of time with them. Who's Ben going to admit that he's going to run for president? If he wanted to be president, he would probably be it tomorrow, but he just talks about it. He Raise your hand said. if you want Trump to be president. That means you as well. I want you to be president. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you. Why are the people angry at the government? It's kind of, I mean, it is kind of sad to see, like, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Like, it's just fucking kids, you know? They're going to they're gonna change their minds regardless, but it still is kind of sad to see how much, like, how much indoctrination can occur. Keep him away from the children. They all, they want this to be how all public schools are run law. Yeah, dude, this is. It just shows the views of their parents. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, I, I mean, I love Obama because my mom loved Obama. No, for sure. For sure. For sure. And after a certain point, like you either become a, a, a dummy uh, who just like votes the party line and doesn't really think about it at all. Think about these things at all. Or you fucking stumble across the Hassan Abbey broadcast originally as a hater and you're like, oh, fuck this guy. I hate this guy. You come in to just like shit on me. And then you realize like, wait a minute, maybe I like this guy. Actually, I think he has some good ideas. And, uh, you know, maybe he's uh, he's a funny, charismatic individual. You know, I'm going to I'm going to actually uh, pay attention to this guy. And then you find yourself becoming a socialist and that's fine. That's cool as well. You know, and then. Nine months later, you're like, I'm actually more leftist than he is, and uh, fuck him. He is a counter-revolutionary. He is a revisionist, disgusting revisionist, and I hate him. And he is straight away from the, uh, the, the principled application of Marxist-Leninist values. Anyway, that's like, and then you try to become an influencer, but it's not working out for you. So then you just like become more and more reactionary every fucking day. Should I go with that one? All right, let's continue. Why are people angry at the government? Because sometimes oh. the government tells us to do something. Wait, what? Black people are what? People angry at the government. Why are people angry at the government? Oh, he didn't say. The government tells us he didn't say black people angry at the government. He said, "Why are people angry at the government?" <laughs> for for a second, I thought he said black people are angry at the government. I was like, "Holy shit!" To do stuff the government shouldn't tell us to do. Do you think homeschooling will ever be banned? Uh, not in Florida. So I, I think that there will be places that try to stop homeschooling. I come from a, st a state called California, oh, where, where, oh, yeah. where monsters roam the streets and garbage is strewn everywhere. And he's just straight up talking about fucking, he's talking about homeless people. He's saying homeless people are monsters. It's a, it's a horror scape. No, I'm, I'm joking. They don't actually have, have real monsters, but it's a really poorly, it, like the, the way that they run the state is really bad. So they have lots of crime, they have high taxes. Like you think there is a monster. Right, exactly. I came here because Florida is amazing, guys. You're so lucky to be growing up in Florida. Florida's amazing. America is the best, but Florida's really hot. What does the government do? What does the government do? Okay, so there's various kinds of government. There's your local government, like where you live, and then there's the state government, like the state of Florida, and then there's the federal government. They all do different things. So your local government, they do the police and they do the firefighting. Okay, then there's the state government. The state government decides, for example, how money goes to your local public school, for example, or how taxes get paid and how roads get get made and all of that. Then there's the federal government. The federal government, the Constitution says what the federal government can do. Make sure that there's an army and a navy and an air force and that they are able to protect us against people who would want to attack the United States. That's the biggest thing the federal government does. Yeah. 
Do you think Biden actually follows him? Yeah, that's the that's the only thing. The federal government is here exclusively to fucking, you know, protect us by by building an army. That's it. Bro, Ben Shapiro, like <laughs> I love Ben Shapiro's take. His approach to this is like literally like a like a theocratic monarchy. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, the federal the the monarch will uh you know uh, take some of your gold and then turn around and pay for a standing army when it's time to go you know purge the barbarians at the gates it's like and all the lordships all the lords get together and you know make sure that their their uh, their workers are also a part of the standing army so we can fight back against the ottomans that are coming over it's like that's the only thing that the government is supposed to do. It's like, what about healthcare, roads, infrastructure, schooling? Nope. Get made and all of that. Then there's the federal government. The federal government, the Constitution says what the federal government can do. Make sure that there's an army and a navy and an air force and that they are able to protect... The army and a navy and an air force, bro. That's it. That's what the government does. <laughs> government when army, navy, air force. That's it. So stupid. People who'd want to attack the United States. That's the biggest thing the federal government does. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Biden actually follows his own law? I think that Biden kind of makes up the rules as he goes. I don't think, unfortunately, he cares very much about the rules for being president. I think he just tries to do whatever he can do. <laughs> and then he hopes that nobody stops him, which is not a very good way of being president. And that's why the founders were really smart. The founders created a system where there are people who can stop you if you break the rules, which is really important. Do you think China purposefully caused a pandemic? <laughs> I think that China purposefully covered up a pandemic. It probably started. Hell yeah, baby. China flu. Tell them. Tell those kids. They, they should know the truth. It's the China virus, little kid. Learn about it. <laughs> it's the Wuhan flu. <laughs> It's like little babies, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? ...in a, a laboratory in China, and then it got released, and then they pretended that it was not their fault, and they didn't know what was going on, and they lied a lot, and then it got out and killed a lot of people. Do you think the Supreme Court will overturn Roe versus Wade? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Um, I think the Supreme Court will not overturn Roe versus Wade, unfortunately. I have a feeling that the Supreme unfortunately, Court... Unfortunately, kids. <laughs> unfortunately, kids, the Supreme Court will not be overturning Roe v. Wade. Oh, bummer, dude. What? Fuck. I'm literally six right now, and I'm, I'm so bummed right now, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this video is awesome. Uh, I wish he debated them. That'd be pretty funny. Like, Ben Shapiro destroys six-year-olds in the marketplace of ideas. There's not enough of that. That's the good stuff. That's what I want to see. Like, a kid being like, my mom says sharing is caring. And then Ben Shapiro's like, that's communist bullshit. <laughs> How about you learn the value of a dollar first, kid? Or is going to change the rules of Roe versus Wade, but that doesn't mean they're going to throw it out completely. They're going to do what they always do, and they're going to be uh, confusing about it. Who is your favorite Democrat? Wow, that is a difficult question. I know, right? Alive, a, live, a, a Democrat who's alive? Uh, hmm. <gasps> we find um, right now, Joe Manchin, Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia is my current favorite Democrat. Like, what, what does that kid know what Roe v. Wade is? The, like, he's six years old. You think he knows how to fuck? Like, you think he knows what fucking is? You think he knows how children are made? This motherfucker thinks it's still being brought in by Stark or Goose or whatever the fuck. Stork? You know what I mean? Like what? Uh, Roe v. Wade is when you kill the fucking geese. Okay? Stork? What is this? Stark? What's the fucking bird? I don't know. English is my second language. Shut the fuck up. What is it? Which one is it? Is it Stork? Is that how you say it? What is the bird? What's the bird? What's the bird? <laughs> What's the bird? What's the bird? Stork is the bird. Okay, thank you. Oh, fucking crud. You guys suck, dude. You guys are... I don't know, dude. I am so fucking... I am... My brain is not working, okay? You're... You're being ableist. I'm stupid. And you're being ableist for making fun of me for being stupid. There you go. Fucking owned.
He's preventing Joe Biden from doing a lot of bad things. Do you think we can have a stable government again? Um, I mean, I think that the government is still pretty stable, is the truth. We should be grateful to live in a country where the government is this stable. The truth is that if you look at history and if you look at all other countries, there are a lot of countries that really don't have a stable government, and it's really difficult. We're so It's because we fucked them up. A lot of countries don't have a stable government because we've decided that they have natural resources that we, we need to extract, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Some countries want to do what is known as autonomy children. That's when, you know, uh, some countries decide, hey, we have stuff coming out of our uh, backyard. We should perhaps, uh, you know, make the money for ourselves and use it on our own people. And then we say as America, no, you can't do that. And then we go in there and we kill those people. And then we control their resources. And if they don't let us control their resources, then, well, then young children, what we end up doing is, uh, you know, making sure that they can no longer participate in the global marketplace. Lucky to live in this country. We really are. So as much as the pro we have problems here in the United States, this is still a fabulous, fabulous country. And we're all, we should all really be grateful to, to live here. And that, that, I guess, is the, is the thing that I would say to all you guys. You guys are, you're going to live, like, for, for a super long time. And you're going to get to see all sorts of amazing things happen in the country. And the most important thing to remember is the harder you work, the better your life is going to be. The better the decisions you make, the more responsible you are, the more you help other people, the better your life is going to be. In this country, which is the best country in the world, if you make great decisions, you're going to have an unbelievably awesome life. You're going to make a huge difference in the world, and you can make the world a better place. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. I mean, they're going to be fine because they're like obviously rich kids. Like they're, you know, I, I suspect that these are like, like rich Florida kids. You know what I mean? Oh, good question. Okay. So this is a yarmulke. Jews and Christians believe in the, in the same God. Uh, we just not Muslims though. Wait, wait, why did he say Jews and Christians believe in the same God? Muslims believe in the same God too. You fucking dickhead. It's literally called the Abrahamic religions. What the fuck? Yo! That's fucked up. That's fucked up, Ben. That is so fucked. Never, never skipping a beat, dude. This is a good opportunity to fucking, you know, early on capture the attention of children and get them to not learn that like Allah is also just the Arabic word for God. Have slightly different beliefs about the kind of stuff that we have to do that God says that we have to do. So what this means is that Orthodox Jews, Jews who, are, who keep a lot of commandments, we keep this on our head, right? In the Bible, when it talks about the Israelites, that's the Jews. So the Jews eventually, uh, you know, now we're, we're, we're their descendants. So we keep the, the yarmulke on our head uh, to remind us to, that God is around us at all times. So we should make good decisions, basically. Alrighty, guys. Well, you can go like enjoy your day now because it's all over, so you're good. Yay. Thank you guys. It's great to meet all of you. That's so funny. I do. I do find that. I do find that wonderful that he like, he was like, I'm going to get one off on these kids. Like, I'm going to make sure that they don't know. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to sneak that one in, you know, that it's just the Jews and the Christians that believe in the same gods. They're the same God and, and no one else kids, no one else children. <laughs> Respect. Why were there no kids of color in that class? Because it's like a rich Florida. Uh, I mean, it's like if you want to take some of these kids home. I have three of my own, so more children in my house. No, they they've got parents. I feel like their parents should keep them. Which is tougher, talking to kids about government or explaining government to Democrats? Oh, by far, it's more difficult to explain government to Democrats because they're they're so certain about the things that they know, and those things are just wrong. Whereas kids just don't know things, and you can actually explain. Yeah, no, exactly. It's like kids are easier to indoctrinate into my worldview than like adult democrats when you tell them taxation is theft people go hey you sound like a fucking idiot <laughs> like how do we build the roads then ben uh you know and that's that's the harder to brainwash when someone understands that like you know taxes are a necessity for infrastructure that we rely on explain them to them are you more or less hopeful for the future i'm way more hopeful for the future than, than before I did this because those kids are smarter than the people that we have in Congress currently. I only came today because I thought Knowles was going to be here. Ew.
basically did this. And property. John Locke, this is your lunch. Now, you should be able to do whatever you want to with this, right? If you want to eat all of it, great. If you want to throw it away in the garbage, that's your prerogative. But here I come, the government. And I get to take 40% of your lunch. And that, Lauren, is how taxes work. But that's not fair. You're learning. Uh-oh. Capital gains tax. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Of course, the difference is that, like, that's a joke. This is like a libertarian character that is, you know, like the, the joke is that he's like, 